Ruth and Naomi were in a same sex lesbian relationship. Well, 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 uh, Jesus is, is coming. <laughs> okay. Jesus is, um, in fact, I think I see him in the clouds right now. Okay. So saints of God remnant, you know, on this page, uh, we are in our last days and um, I do my best to show you how a believer lives in the last days by uh, continually um, existing uh, as a believer in a fallen world. So uh, this is the latest, um, this preacher, and I actually did a little bit of research and I see he's not the first. Uh, this is a part of the homosexuality doctrine, okay? Um, this man goes on to say that Ruth and Naomi will, were in a same sex relationship. Sweet old dear Naomi was in a relationship with a, uh, about a 40 year old woman. This, this is what he's trying to, uh, say. Um, and, and it's, preposterous it's diabolical it's disgusting and um they also tried to do this with um david and jonathan uh you know how david and jonathan they were really close they were friends but uh this homosexuality doctrine try is tr has tried to pervert this friendship right um and then, you know, there, you know, there's people that saying, you know, because Jesus didn't get married, it's, it's from the pits of hell because, um, they are about to ish, um, um, they are about to, um, usher in, um, homosexuality in the church. This is the introduction of that because, um, the gay preachers, the gay deacons, the, the gay, um, uh, song leaders, the gay uh, members of the church want to live in their homosexuality and peace. So they have to find ways to fool a, uh, fool the general um, uh, Christian population that goes to these watered down churches who don't study the Bible. Um, they try to find ways to deceive you so you can say, you know what? I've been struggling with this thing. I'm so glad you gave me an out because I've been waiting for, there are actually, uh, pastors who are inverted. Inverted is what, you know, is a man who was born. A man is a woman who is dressing and living as a woman and a woman who was born a woman who is now inverted, uh, and dressing uh, and be, it's, I, I, I get, get, and that's how the devil wants to confuse it is they, they're transgender, um, and they are pastors in a church. Um, and they probably are about to come out soon. So this is the entry for that. And so, um, if you watch the master's voice prophecy blog, and if you are aligned with the Holy spirit and the things that are to come, this is a part of the prophecy. This is a part of, um, the church will be feminized, um, uh, so one day we will wake up and if you are straight, if you are a woman who likes men and a man that likes women, we will be the outcasts. Remember when, um, people, uh, you know, would attack people who were homosexuals because it was an abomination and not just that, um, that doesn't give you license to attack anybody, but just, do you remember when all that was going on? They called it so quote unquote hate crimes. Cause I don't know. We don't, you know, we don't know what was real and what wasn't, but you know, I'm sure, you know, they had people knew it was wrong and, um, that's not how you handle a situation, but that was a thing. So people will attack straight people in, in, in the future. This is what we're going into the B system. Um, it's a perversion of humanity, anything that can go against God's natural order. So I want us remnant to be cautious of these things, um, especially as God is raising us up to be, you know, to, to, to be the light. Um, you may come across this information and, and this, you want to be able to defend 
the gospel of Jesus Christ. Another thing, you know, they change the scripture as well. People don't believe this. They call it the Mandela effect. Um, you know how they change the scripture. So, uh, we're, we're two, the, the scripture read where two or more are gathered in my name. There I am in the mist. Now the scripture says where two or three are gathered in my name. There in the mist. Um, that is, um, not what the original scripture said. And I'm going to lose some people here, but there are, um, high ranking spiritual activities that has taken place that some of our actual Bibles have been changed. And I know y'all not going to believe me when I say that, but they are changing the scriptures. They can travel in time. There's so many, there's so many things that these people are breaking into because we're in our last days. We're about to be in as in the days of Noah, as in the days of Noah are here. When these Nephilim start coming out and all these things that you guys mocked uh, God's prophet about, about the dinosaurs and all that stuff, when this starts, this things start to manifest, um, you know, this, this is what's happening. We are going as in the days of Noah, they are prepping you for these things. Um, another thing, uh, which my point was, I would get into that they changed the Bible. So they said, um, there's a scripture that says, uh, like two, they said two, I think I don't, the original scripture was something like two people will be, um, grinding flour at the meal. And then two people will be doing this. One will be taken. One will not. Well, now the scripture says that two people will be grinding saying that a man and a woman, um, are, have, are, you know, together, they're changing the scripture. They're changing it. The scripture, um, uh, with spells and they're changing it, putting spells on people to believe this stuff. So these are the things that we have to be on guard about. This is why, you know, there's a young lady that, um, and I will repeat this, that says we have to pray for our mind. We have to pray that we have the mind of Christ, that we have the mind of Christ, that we have the mind of Christ. We have to pray over our, our thoughts because the spells, when the antichrist comes, all those things are going to be high demonic spells and a lot of people are under spells now. That's why when people come across these videos, they call me crazy and a liar because they truly can't see these things. They are truly inundated with their sin and are blinded. And then there's some people that know the truth but are working for the enemy, so they discredit the things that I say too. That's okay because uh, Jesus is my Lord and my protector. And glory be to the most high God um, that he indwells me. So Christ indwelleth me. And because of that, I have full authority in fighting against the enemy. So, um, yeah, I just want to put you guys on guard. Uh, that is what's in the news today. Um, but I want you to know what they're getting you prepared for. They are getting you prepared for um, a homosexuality is going to take over, especially in the United States. Um, and so, uh, that you should know that. So you, cause it can be tricky, especially if you're not studying your Bible. That's why you got to get in your Bible. Like yesterday, it can be tricky if you're not continually, um, seeking the Holy spirit to lead and guide your life and to learn, it can get tricky because it's just, it's just, we have to understand that the, the devil is a worthy opponent. And when you sit here and you say that, um, oh, the devil's no match for me. No, he's no match for Jesus Christ. You, he can take in a matter of seconds. So as long as you have Christ indwelling you and you are relying on the power of Jesus Christ, the power of Yeshua, then you will be okay. Otherwise, when you start getting into your own understanding and your own, you know, whatever you're going to, you're going to fail. You're going to take the mark of the beast. You're going to do all those things. So just, just friendly little, little warning. Just keep your eyes open. Y'all bless.